Yo, what's good? We back at it. It's your boy. You know what I mean? We had to do another video, right? Following through Venus, coming through the signs of Libra. We're going to talk about what this means, basically. Um, and, you know, I think this video should resonate with you guys who have this placement, right? So, um, Venus actually coming through the sign of Libra, right? Um, this is actually what I like to call home here, right? So it's comfortable here, right? So you want your, your Venus sign to be in this sign with this constellation known as Libra. Venus coming to the sign of Libra. We're gonna talk about what this means, right? So Venus in your chart will start off by saying that it's gonna show how you relate to others, right? It's also gonna show your love language. Um, I'm always telling you guys, again, compare your Venus sign coming through Libra as well as any planets that you have in the seventh house, right? Any planets, and excuse me, the sign that's actually on that cusp, as this is going to tell us about your love language and how you relate to others as well, too. Um, Libra kind of corresponds with that seventh house, so that's the reason why you want to look at that, basically, right? Now, uh, Venus is also going to show what you value and the value that you can bring to the table, basically, right? Um, and it also can show how you make money, right? It can show how you make money, but you want to compare this with your second house. The reason being is because Venus also rules over Taurus, as well as Libra, and Taurus is a sign of money, finance, stability, comfort, you know, it shows what we value, kind of, right? So, Taurus corresponds with that second house, so this is why you got to compare these energies in terms of the uh, planets and also the sign that you have on that cusp of that second house, right, with your Venus and Libra. That's also going to give you indications of how you can make money. Um, and also, in a man's chart, it's going to show the ideal wife, right, the ideal wife archetype. And then, uh, for my people who have nighttime charts, right, I did a video on Hellenistic Astrology, day versus night charts, you can go back and watch that, I'll link it on the YouTube. Basically, if you have a nighttime chart, whatever house your Venus is in, it should give you blessings there, as well as whatever house the signs of Taurus and Libra are in. Um, those can be other possible indications or ways that you can make money as well, too. Um, nothing is for certain, is always going to be factors, you know what I mean, so you have to look at the whole chart. Um, from a holistic perspective, basically, right? Um, but yeah, let's jump back up here. Um, Venus coming through Libra, right? Again, normally you want your relationships to come through this sign as well as Taurus because it's home here, right? Now, um, if you do feel like the relationships are the best, then it could be other things that's going on, you know what I mean? Maybe you have other planets that are aspected to your Venus sign or maybe something going on in the seventh house or the ruler of the seventh house. So, you know, there could be other factors that's going on. Even in the constellation of Libra, you might have other planets that are going on within that, and that could dictate your relationships too. But just in general, this energy, you know, is good to be in this sign. Now, in terms of how you relate to others and your love language, right? Your love language is someone who, you know, you like harmony, you like peace, you know what I mean? You like fairness, you like justice, equilibrium, homeostasis. All these energies deal with that Libra slash Mayat energy, right? So that would be basically how you relate to others, you know what I mean? Very, very diplomatic, you know what I mean? I'm sure you think about others just as you think about yourself when you're relating to your partner. These are actually the things that you value too, you know what I mean? So being that you, you value these same things, even justice, Libra is a sign of justice and beauty. So these would be things that you value. Libra can rule over the arts just like the planet Venus, you know what I mean? So. You know, these are things that you can value, basically. And the energy you can bring to the table is just, again, balance as well, being able to mediate things. Now, let's talk about how you can make money, right? So, Libra, as I stated before, it rules over the fashion industry, right? So, that could be one way of making money, being a model. It could deal with beauty, so being a beautician. It rules over the arts of any sort. So, being a, a, a actress being a singer, being a musician, you know, can fall into this energy. Makeup artist as well too, as that deals with beauty. Um, Libra is a sign that deals with justice, so this could be someone who's actually in the law system or the legal system. So you might have judges that have this placement as well. You may have attorneys slash lawyers that have this energy as well too, in terms of this placement, um, as this can show how you can make money. And even doing counseling, you know, being a counselor can actually show up with this energy. Um, even if you have, like, for instance, Venus in that seventh house, that can show because the seventh house is kind of, like I said, that Libra energy, basically. Maybe even doing stuff with contracts, you know what I mean? So these are just some examples. So um, let's talk about ideal wife and a man's chart. Because Libra, of course, is the sign 
that deals with beauty, you need someone who's very attractive, you know what I mean? Definitely, looks will matter for you, you know what I mean? Um, even if, for instance, if you have Venus in that seven powers, you need a partner who's attractive, same energy. Um, you know, you need someone, again, you value fairness, so you need that. Um, you need someone who can see both sides of the equation. Libra is an objective type of energy, as it's an air sign, it wants to find the middle ground between things, so this would be what you value as a man, and also type of uh, women that you can attract. Now, I did a video, which I'm gonna link on the YouTube. It's basically keywords, keywords that correspond with your zodiac sign. What I want the fellas to do is basically look in the house that your Venus sign is in, right? So the first house is an Aries house. Second house is a Taurus house. Um, third house would be a Gemini house. Fourth house is a Cancer house, etc. right? Going all the way around through the 12 houses. Now, you basically look for, you can look up the keywords if you want to in that video. You can look up Venus through Libra, which we kind of state the energy, but also look in that house that it's in, right? Wherever your Venus is at, that's going to give you the keywords for other um, qualities that you need in a woman, right? So, for instance, if it's the uh, fourth house, this is Cancer. If it's the fifth, this is Leo. If it's the sixth, this is Virgo. Um, seventh house would be, again, double down on the Libra energy, as that's a Libra house. Um, eighth, basically, would be Scorpio, right? They have Scorpio qualities. Ninth would be Sagittarius. 10th would be um, Capricorn, 11th would be Aquarius, and Pisces would be the 12th house, right? So yeah, compare those keywords, you can watch that video, and that will show you more about qualities that you would need in a woman for the guys, basically. And then last but not least, um, again, I already stated, uh, Venus shows that we have strengths and blessings by house, so you can look at the house, and it should show that if you have a nighttime chart. Make sure if, you, if you're actually trying to find this out, you have to use whole sign systems in that uh, Basically, in that system, in, in Hellenistic astrology, just figure out if you have a nighttime chart where you may have blessings at. Um, you can watch that video. I said I'll link as well, too, on day versus nighttime charts. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate y'all.